protected by the elements. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we have them too. Been to a courthouse, so yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's probably one of the biggest ones you've been to, huh? Or actually, I think they showed me the Supreme Court. So today we argued that our, my client, Selena, Chelsea, and Alana, their records and achievements matter. And we ought to be able to prove our case in court. And so we're asking that the judges here allow the case to continue to move forward. Um, this is about fairness for women in sports. Uh, this is solely about um, the right to compete in sports as a woman and to have the same opportunities that men have. So that's, that's why I'm here. That's why I'm in this case, I just want fair opportunities. It's important to me because in high school, I raced against transgender athletes um, and I lost four state championships, two all New England awards and countless other opportunities to advance. And so I want the records rectified and to be um, recognized um, as the champion that I should have been. Yeah, I'm a piano. You know, this case has been uh, sort of exhibit A uh, that's been used by organizations uh, to pass bans on transgender students participating in school activities across the country. It's held up as an example of the dangers that would happen if transgender girls were allowed to participate. And the reality is that that's based on a completely false premise because it, there, there's no cisgender girls getting pushed off the victory podium. The plaintiffs in this case have been on the victory podium on multiple occasions. Yeah, I am dying.